Hey everyone, welcome back. It feels like it's been forever since we've done anything with wigs, but here we are. Um, today's video, what we're doing is we're doing like a custom color highlight type situation with this um, 6A or 16A uh, virgin Remy hair that I got from Eon Hair off of Amazon. I will have all of the official uh, facts and stuff about it linked down in the description box uh, down below so that if you are interested in purchasing it for yourself you can do so. I ordered the lace too dark for Cherie so learn from my mistakes and make sure that you get the proper color of lace. Okay, my microphone is dead and I wasn't anticipating speaking throughout the video, I was just going to have it be like a time lapse, so I apologize for the shitty audio. I just wanted to explain what's going on here instead of uh, doing text and stuff like that. I noticed that the chunky, chunky highlights or whatever you would say, a huge bold chunk of color or non-color or whatever I've noticed is very in trend up in the front. What we're doing pretty much is we're going to take a section in the front here and um, any, it, as large as you want the color to be, you could have actually, I was debating on if I should do less because the idea is that we're going to bleach all of this. Probably going to bleach it twice because I have 20 volume developer and I want it to get as blonde as we can get it. Um, but yeah, I was debating on if I should just do this much, that way she can have a stripe of blonde this way, a stripe of blonde that way, or, you know, a little on both sides. But I actually think that more is probably better. I at least don't think it'll hurt, so that's what we're gonna do. We just pulled up a section that's probably about half an inch back from the hairline, practically straight across, not not perfect by any means, I don't know if you can see the parts. Not perfect by any means because it doesn't really have to be. In fact, the less perfect it is, the better it'll probably look. And then I'm just going to mix up my uh, bleach and we'll get started. I'm gonna take some away because I'm only doing a small strip, so I don't need very much. I'm going in with the same developer, 20 volume, and we want the consistency thinner than last time. Right there. I'm not doing any foils because I don't have hair foils specifically, and there is a difference between hair foils and regular old kitchen foils, so. I mean, you can use regular old kitchen foil, but I'm not going to. All right, so this is a wig, so you don't really have to start at the ends because the ends and the roots are going to process the same, but I'm gonna start at the ends. Just gonna hold it out like this. Just slather it on there. need to take some water. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I got some of the bleach in areas that I don't want it, like along right here. So I'm just gonna really saturate those areas with water because water should, not 100%, but should uh, neutralize the bleach. 
now we're going to take this, our little friend here, twist him up like so. And twist it all up. Do a cute little, very, very loose, mind you, very loose little top knot right there, my friend. If you got an actual shower cap, that'll work too, but I don't. So, a Dollar Tree bag, because we're very luxurious. We're just gonna put it over top like that, make sure that any of the colored lettering is in the back and not touching the bleach. Then, I have this really cool on it deal that is for, you know, drying your hair or whatever. My little dealie for it is lost or broken or something, so I have a tie a slip knot, which is fucking cool. Then, connect this little guy. There we go, okay. Woo, now that we've got this on, to any fucking blow dryer we get, we're gonna heat it up, because bleach is heat activated if you didn't know that. Woo! <laughs> it for probably 15 more minutes and then we'll rinse it out but we'll probably have to bleach it one more time about the same amount as bleach as before right so that's mixed up got our gloves on <sighs> going for round two that green off. Oh. Just wanted to show you guys what I used here. We can find this at our Walmart. I'm not sure if you can find it at yours, but we've got um, blue chamomile and Aragon oil, brightens and repairs, free of sulfates and all that kind of good stuff. Blonde Care Shampoo. Pretty much it's just a purple shampoo. And then we have the matching Blonde Care Purple Conditioner. So this is what it looks like fresh uh, from being washed and everything. I'm just spraying it with the um, blowout spray that I use all the time on this channel. The generic uh, Kenra, whatever, the stuff you get from the beauty store and then I will give it a quick blow dry and we will be back to apply my random mixture of dye and conditioner to hopefully achieve my desired result. Alright, we are back. She's all blow dried and ready to get some homemade toner done on her. So before I do that, I just want to show you guys real quick which conditioner I used. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter what conditioner you use, use whatever you have. But I just want to show you what I'm using and what dye I had laying around to use.
Alright, this is how it ended up looking after a uh, blow dry and a curl. Definitely warmer in tone than I intended, but I still like how it turned out and it still looks really awesome on Cherie. If you guys want to see me install it on Cherie, then I encourage you to click the link that's going to appear in the top left hand corner of the screen. That will take you straight to the install. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave it a like, that way I know. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little notification bell, that way you're notified every time I upload new videos. Also, if you would like to follow me on any of my social media accounts, I will have them all linked down in the description box down below. And I will see you all next time.